Hi, in today's video, I'll walk you through how to create a full bleed slideshow in Squarespace 7.1 that also has text and button overlay. Now, this isn't something we can achieve in Squarespace right now in 7.1, so we'll be using a plugin from one of my favorite companies, Ghost. They offer plugins for just about everything you could do on Squarespace. And they have two versions of this plugin that allows you to have text and button overlay, one with autoplay and one without. So today I'll be installing the version with autoplay. It's pretty straightforward. I'll walk you through the process and I'll put the two links to those ghost plugins below. The first thing that we want to do is add code to our code injection. Now ghost provides this code. So all you do is copy and paste it in. So we'll go to settings, advanced code injection. Now you'll have code that goes in the header and in the footer. So I'm going to grab that code, paste it in, and then hit save at the top. Okay, I've saved the code in my code injection, and the next step is to paste in code into custom CSS. So now we want to get back to our home menu, and there's actually a shortcut here. If you double click on settings, it takes you right back to the home menu. From here, we'll choose design, custom CSS, and now we'll paste in the next code from Ghost. Our next step will be adding a blog. We're actually going to use the blog functionality with Ghost plugin to create our slides. So under pages, go to not linked, click the plus sign, and under collection, select blog. Here you'll click on any of those. It doesn't matter which one. And now we have a blog. So let's look at our posts. Each one of these posts will become a slide in our slideshow. I'm only going to use three, so I'll delete this one. If you want to add extras, you can do that using the plus sign up here. So for each of the blog posts, our blog title will be the title of our slide. The blog excerpt will be the description of our slide. We can also add a button by using a link in the excerpt and the thumbnail image will be our slide image. So I know that's a lot. I'll walk you through it. So here on this post, I'll click edit and then I want to get to my post settings. And to do that, I go to the cog here in the upper right of the screen. Now our blog post title will be our slide title. And I'm just going to say yummy food. This stuff doesn't matter. You can delete it, leave it under options. We'll want to change our excerpt to be our description. I'll say mm, good. And then if we want a button on the slide, we'll add button text here and then we can make it a link. This is what creates the button. So for this one, I'll just have it link out to google.com or if you wanted to have it go to a page on your website, you could do that. Actually, let's just do that. Save, apply, and the next step is to change the default thumbnail image. So I'll delete that and upload an image I've already optimized these images for the website, so I'll choose one of those. If you're not sure how to optimize images for your website, I'll put a link to my mini course below. It walks you through all the steps to name your images, how to set up alt text, how to optimize them for file size and file name, um, all to boost your SEO ranking and improve usability. So check that out below. We have our image, our excerpt, and our title now. So I will click apply, and then we go to done and save. And now I have all three of my slides ready to go. So if I wanted to reorder these, I would change the blog publication date. So for example, if I wanted another slide to go before Yummy Food, I would click edit, click my cog icon, and then just change the publication date to make it further in the future because most recent blog posts show up first. I've done that. I'll click save. And when we refresh this, we'll see that another slide is now first. So we have all of our custom code installed. We have our blog set up for each slide. The final part to making your slideshow is to go into a page, edit it. I'm going to create a new blank section here for our slideshow and I'll click my insertion point and then go to summary list. This is what the ghost plugin turns into our slideshow and we'll choose the blog that we just set up for me. That's blog two and click apply. 
Now, nothing's happening yet. There are a couple of other things that we want to do here, but the first thing I want to do is remember to take out this text block here at the bottom. Sometimes I forget and then you get some extra, like a gap there at the bottom. So you want to make sure and do that. So inside our summary, we want to go over to display. Um, number of items here can be the number of items in your slideshow or greater, it doesn't matter. And we want to make sure that title, thumbnail, and excerpt are all checked. Read more is not. And then we want to make sure both of these metadata positions say none. So I'll change mine from date to none, click apply, and then done and save. And you can see here that I have another slide, slide description here. Um, there's my slide title and my button text. You can change the colors of these descriptions um, in the custom CSS that you pasted into design custom CSS. And you can also make changes to the button color there as well. If you have any questions about the plugin at all after purchase, reach out to Ghost. They have an amazing support team. They get back to you really quickly. Um, I love all the work that they do. So be sure and check out their plugins, um, templates there. I'll put a code down below for 10% off any purchase in the Ghost store. Use code Christy Price, C H R I S T Y P R I C E. So, thanks so much for sticking with me today and learning about how to add text and buttons to your galleries using the Ghost plugin. Best of luck with your website. Thanks.